In this video, we want to talk a little more about elasticity. We want to discuss cross price elasticity of demand. The um, equation is very similar to the equation that we've used before with one difference. Uh, we want to look at the percentage change in quantity demanded for uh, one product compared to the percentage change in price with another product. Uh, we would say that the percentage change in the quantity demanded for one good divided by the percentage change in price of another good. Um, how we um, test this is we calculate the elasticity from the formula and then we compare it to a benchmark of zero. If the value is greater than zero or a positive number, those two products are considered substitutes. If the value that we calculate is less than zero or a negative number, the two products are considered complements. Let's take a look at uh, how this might work. Uh, looking at two candy bars, a Snickers bar and a Butterfinger bar. If we were to increase the price of the Snickers bar by 50% and then we noticed that our sales of Butterfinger bars had actually gone up by 30%, that would actually uh, give us a value of 0.7. Uh, and then we compare that 0.7 to our benchmark and it is larger than zero or greater than zero. It's a positive number. Therefore, we can conclude that those two products are considered substitutes. Uh, let's take a look at uh, these two products, uh, some hot dog buns and some hot dogs. If we were to increase the price of hot dogs by, 20, uh, by 50% and we monitored the sale of hot dog buns and found that they had declined by 40%, our value in this case would be a minus 0.8. I've uh, noted that in red. To make that clear, if it's less than zero, we can therefore conclude that these two products are considered complements. That makes sense, doesn't it? If the price of hot dogs goes up, we're going to buy fewer hot dogs. Therefore, we would buy fewer hot dog buns. To summarize, cross-price elasticity of demand is a percentage change in quantity demanded of one product divided by the percentage change in the price of another product. If the value is less than zero, we consider those two products complements. If it's greater than zero or a positive number, they're substitutes. If the value is zero, we consider their products to be unrelated to each other.